Hello, I'm Joe Thibodeau, the Director of Mission Integration at St. Leonard. I'd like to give you an update on the resumption of Mass and other re religious activities in this magnificent chapel. We all hate to see the chapel empty and we long to return to Mass as a group. Please pray that before long we can return to celebrating Mass and all the sacraments together. On May the 8th, 2020, the Bishops of Ohio issued a statement that informed Catholics in the state of Ohio that while making every effort to respect the spirit of the governor's responsible restart Ohio plan, they will begin to make public celebration of mass available once again. In the Archdiocese of Cincinnati, public masses will begin on Memorial Day, next Monday, May the 25th. At the same time, Cincinnati Archbishop Dennis M. Schnur emphasized that this is not going to be a return to normal. Health and safety requirements and recommendations must continue to be adhered to. Among these are social distancing, use of face masks, and concern for the most vulnerable. The Archdiocese also released guidelines for the resumption of public worship. The first guideline which states, effective immediately and until further notice, the Catholic faithful who reside in the Archdiocese of Cincinnati and all other Catholics in the Archdiocese continue to be dispensed from the obligation of attending Sunday Mass. Since St. Leonard's Senior Living Community is not a Catholic parish, we are required to follow the guidelines for long-term care facilities from the Ohio Department of Health and CHI Living Communities Management. As a result, the resumption of Masses for our residents will be a more gradual process. For the past several weeks, our chaplain, Father Jerry Hammerley, has been celebrating daily Mass and Saturday Vigil Mass for broadcast on our campus TV system. Beginning on Pentecost Sunday, May the 31st, Mass will be televised every day of the week, except Monday. Residents may then tune in to channel 1851 to view Mass at 9 a.m. on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, and four o'clock on Saturday afternoon for the Vigil Mass. Also beginning on Monday, June the 1st at 9 a.m., Deacon Ray Lyons will be leading a televised spiritual communion service again on chapel channel 1851. We are currently investigating several different options which would allow our residents to once again safely attend mass in our chapel while adhering to the health and safety requirements. Please join us in praying that this crisis will be resolved in a timely manner so that our residents can once again worship together and visit their families and loved ones. Thank you and have a blessed day.